for Jesus. Let us clap our hands for Jesus. Bona, from glory to glory. The Lord, he is here. What is he, what is he here for? To come and move your life. When, where you were stagnant, where you were not moving, the Lord this morning, he is here to move you into another dimension. The Lord, he is here this morning to move you from glory to glory, from this level to that level. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that the Lord, he is here for you this morning? Do you believe that the Lord, he is here to move you from glory to glory? Let us clap our hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to read Psalm 9. Psalm chapter 9, verse 1. It says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. Two, it says, I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. That is what the word of God is saying this morning. Born, we are thanking the Lord this morning because of what Isaiah 43 is saying. That in 2018, whatever that he has done, Baba Simple, that's what he said. From 2018, whatever that the Lord has done for you, he is moving you into another dimension. That is why we are in 2019, because the Lord, he is going to do something new for you. I believe that everything that the Lord has said he will done, it has started already. He has started to do something new in your life. During these days of fasting, as we are fasting, as we are humbling ourselves before the Lord, the Lord has started to do something. I believe that after these 21 days, we are going, going to come with so many testimonies. What if the line will be so long? Murti will say, you know, we will take another testimonies on Wednesday because the line will be so long and people will not want to finish to talk because of the glory of the Lord that the Lord will have done in their lives. Amen. So right now we are going to stand and we are going to glorify his name to say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for everything that you have done in my life. And I thank you, Bona. You must always thank the Lord for everything that he will do in advance. You must thank him already because you have faith. You believe that the Lord will do it. So if you believe that the Lord will do something, it means even, even if you, 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 you thank him in advance, it's still fine. You can thank him in advance and say, Lord, I thank you that, you know, my children are coming. I thank you, Lord, that my husband will get another promotion. I thank you, Lord, because I will get married next week or next month. You don't know what the Lord has in store for you. He is the only one who knows. So I want each and every one of us to stand this morning and to give thanks unto him. To say, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for everything that has happened. Even the bad, even the challenges that has, I have, I have, I have, uh, uh, I have, uh, thank you, Tila Mokoson. The one second still on. Lord, I still thank you because I was learning something during that process. During that challenge, during that tribulation, you were giving something. You were testing me. Born, even gold. <laughs> even gold. Before in Siwa Motenhamha, before in Isiwa go for the marketing. It needs to be done what? It has to go through fire. It, even you, you must go through fire before you are refined. So don't be don't say yo, Lord. Now, it, I've been through so much, I can't anymore. Uh -uh. You must go through those tribulations. You must go through the wilderness. Amen. So we are going to stand and say, Lord, we are thankful. We are all going to stand. And to say, Lord, we are thankful. Let us stand and pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we are thankful for everything that you have done, Lord Jesus. Oh, we oh, thank you, Father, oh, we oh, for this time, my God, that we are going to. Oh, Lord, oh, we give everything oh, unto you, my God, this morning. Oh, this morning. Lord, oh, we are oh, thankful, oh, my God, oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Come on, let us pray. Oh, let us pray this morning. Say, oh, Lord, I give everything oh, unto you. Father, I am here. I am thankful. Thank the Lord for everything that he has done in your life. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. It 
Hallelujah. I don't know if you feel the change of the atmosphere. I don't know if you feel the changing of the atmosphere. Bahaisu. Ask the Holy Spirit to be so that you may be intertwined. You cannot lose this time. Do not lose this opportunity. Hallelujah. The song says, Hallelujah, I'm doing seni. Hallelujah. It says, thank him. I get it. It says, thank him because he is the Lord who is a hell. The Lord who lives inside of us. You know, this because I am I'm from, I'm from a Congo. So, you know, these languages of South Africa. You know? So, the Lord, he is here for you. So, you just need to say, Lord, I thank you. You know, with a heart. You know, even with that heart, that is so sorrowful. You can say, Lord, I thank you. That is why it is important for you to stand this morning. To say, Lord, I thank you. So we are going to stand this time as we open Luke 17. Luke 17, verse 3 and 4. We are also going to pray. It says, if your brother or your sister sins against you, rebuke them. And if they repent, forgive them. For it says, even if they sin against you seven times in a day, <laughs> And seven times come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them. But I say forgiveness, it's, it's something that it is, for, for some people, it's very hard. For you to just to say, you know, I'm sorry. I did this, but I'm sorry. It's more like it's taking the life out of you. Something very big is leaving you. But I say, we need to forgive each other. Whatever that someone has said to you, regardless, whatever, it doesn't matter. The Lord has forgiven you. So why is it so hard for you to forgive others? We always pray the Lord's prayer and say, um, forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We pray that prayer as if it is a song. It is not a song. and it's, let, us not, let us not pray it as if it is a habit. You know a habit. Some kids for them, I always say to my to my learners that school say, when uh, sometimes it's like you are making a habit, you just take your, your bag, you come to school, you come and sit, you listen to us, and then you go home, you put your bag there. Tomorrow you are doing the same thing. It's more like a habit. Let us not make a prayer a habit. Let us take a prayer as a communication unto the Lord. Let us talk to the Lord. Let us Talk to him in a prayer form. You know, that time when you and your husband are sitting and just talking. So, you know, my husband, I mean, short of one, two, three, but you are humbling yourself because you know he will give it to you. You know? <laughs> so, make that time to the Lord to say, Lord, you know, I'm, I, I'm sorry for one, two, three, four, five. He will forgive you. To say, Lord, I mean, short of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He will give it unto you. So, let us stand this time and say, Lord, we are repenting. We are asking for forgiveness for what we did. It doesn't matter what you said to your, to your neighbor. You know, even as we don't like our neighbors, I don't know why. You say your neighbor was a lawyer. Your neighbor is a witch. Have you seen him our lawyer? Huh? So let us stand. For you just saying that way, you have, you have no proof, but you are accusing someone of something. So let us stand this time and take this time. And say, Lord, we are repenting. We are coming before your throne. Forgive us for whatever service we are in. We are humbling ourselves. You can kneel down as a sign of humbling yourself. You can lie down. You can, you know, lift up your hands. It is up to you. But take this time and stand. And say, Lord, I, forgive me. I want to be forgiven. In the name of Jesus, can we stand and pray? Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we are humbling ourselves before your throne, my Father. Lord, forgive us, my Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, forgive me, my Father, for everything, my Father. I am here before you, my God, and I am repenting, my Father, of all my sins, my God. Lord, everything. Can we stand and pray in the name of Jesus? Let us 
ask the Lord for forgiveness. Do not look to the person who's sitting next to you, but ask the Lord to forgive you for whatever that he has done, you have done, in the name of Jesus. The Lord has forgiven you, but take this time to ask and humbly ask yourself, ask the Lord to forgive you for whatever that you have done, in the name of Jesus. Lord, the God, Mother, Lord, forgive us, my Lord.
everything. We are not leaving everything, anything behind. But we are saying, Lord, we are surrendering anything and everything unto your hands. Let our lives be led by you. Whatever that we have done, my Father, here we are this morning, and we are repenting as a church. We are coming before your throne this morning and say, my God, 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 we are repenting in the name of Jesus. We let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us give us up to Jesus. Let us surrender in the name of Jesus. We are surrendering. We are surrendering everything in the name of Jesus. We must surrender. We must surrender. We must surrender. The Lord is in his place. He is waiting for you to surrender this morning. Do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed to surrender. He is here for you. Surrender. Surrender this morning. Surrender everything. In the head of this morning. The shame that you have been hiding from him, take it unto him. Say, Lord, I am surrendering my shame. I am surrendering whatever that I've been hiding from you. You know, you cannot hide everything. But the Lord is omnipresent. So this morning, he is in this place. He's only waiting for you. So surrender everything unto him. Do not be ashamed. For who knows your shame? But the Lord, he is here for you. Say, my father, I surrender whatever that I have done. Everything that I have done in my past, it belongs to you. I surrender it unto you in the name of Jesus. In a hell this morning. In a hell. You might not get this chance anymore. But this is the time that the Lord has created. That this morning you shall surrender everything unto him. Do not be ashamed. This is his time. This is the Lord's time. So he wants to do something in your life. He wants to offload. He wants to take something in your life. He wants to remove and wipe out and delete and remove the memory. So this time, take this time again and say, Lord, I surrender my mukhab. I surrender everything unto the Lord. Whatever that he has done. Come on, let us pray. Do not look to the person who's sitting next to you. Because you don't know what he has gone through. You, you know. So take this time to say, Father, I surrender. And I repent. I give everything unto you. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Lord, when I'm I surrender. surrender. I still surrender, my God. I surrender, my Father. I still surrender, my King. In the name surrender. of Jesus. I surrender, my Creator. I surrender, my Provider. I surrender, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God. I surrender this morning into your presence. I say, Father, take part, take control in my life, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I surrender in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, let us pray. Surrender to the Lord. Surrender.
hands for Jesus. Let us clap the hands for Jesus. Let us clap our hands for Jesus. He is in this place. He himself. He has come in this place. He is in this place. His feet are in this place. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, it is in this place. Hallelujah. The helper is in this place. So we are going to say, help her, my friend. Remember, the Holy Spirit is your friend. We are going to say, Holy Spirit, we need to right now open up our spiritual ears. Because I believe that this morning the Lord has something in store for us. He has something great that he wants us to receive this morning. So we are going to stand and ask the Spirit of the Lord. We are going to say, Father, open up our spiritual ears. We want to hear from you. Whisper in our ears. Holy Spirit, come and take control in this place. In the name of Jesus, please, I am begging you. Do not sit down and start moving your eyes around. This is your time to get into the most holy place. This is your time to, for your spirit to be intertwined with the spirit of the Lord. The Holy Spirit is your friend. Tell him, come closer to me this morning. I want you and me to be one this morning. I want you to open up my mind, to open up my ear, to open up my heart, so that I may be able to receive what you have in store for me this morning. Not no one, but what the Lord has in store for you this morning. Can we stand and ask in the name of Jesus? Spirit of the Lord, we ask you this morning. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let me ask him by God. That your spirit and ours may be one this morning. Open up the, spirit, the ears of your people this morning. Open our ears, my Father. We want to receive your word this morning. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, whenever we walk up, we want to receive your word, my Father. The word that is coming from you this morning. We want to receive it, my God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, open up our ears this morning. Father, we want to receive you. Let our spirit and yours be intertwined this morning. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, pray. Call upon the Holy Spirit. Call upon the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Call upon the Holy Spirit this morning. In the name of Call upon the Holy Spirit. Call upon the Holy Spirit. Call upon the Holy Spirit. Tell him what you want this morning. Tell him what you want to hear this morning. In the name of Jesus. Oh,
shall break it. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. But guys, we need to pray. Yes, Lord. We need to pray. You need to pray. You are not praying just to pray. But let me tell you, when you pray, something happens. When you call upon the Holy Spirit, He shall come. It's not like when you call upon Him, you'll just sit there. But when you provoke Him, and say, Holy Spirit, I call upon you this morning. I want you to come into my life and do one, two, three, four, five. I dare you, he will come. But if you sit and don't say anything unto him and don't call upon him, he won't come. Baha'i, so we are in the presence of the Lord. So let us talk to him. Acts chapter 13. I'll start from chapter 12, verse 25. It says, when Baranas and Saul finished their mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, also called Mark. Now in the church at Antioch, there were, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon called Niger, Lucia of Sinri, Mania, we are in 13 now, sorry, who has been brought up with Herod and treasured and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work which, will, which I have called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bahai, so this time of fasting, it is a time where the Lord he is separating us. He is separating us. This time, he's making a separation. He's separating us from other people. 
You know that time when you are about to cook semp or beans? Bon mama, they know. On this, um, how to happen that beans? There's a time of, there's a process of separation that you must do. You must take out the semp or the beans that does not look good. You must take it out. So this time also, the Lord, he's setting us apart. He is separating us for his work. But the question is, as the Lord is separating us, as the Lord, he is taking his time to separate us, are we availing ourselves for his work? Are we going, are we there, are we, are we there to, are we here just to fast, you know, we are just fasting. You know, maybe some, some people, they are just fasting to lose weight, I don't know why. But others, is, Mama Bia, she fasts too much, but she does not lose weight, you know. So it means that that time, this time also, you cannot say I'm fasting because I want to lose weight. You can't say I'm fasting because I want to lose weight, you know. But the Lord at this time, he is using this time to separate you for his work. That is why it is important for you to avail yourself. So avail yourself this morning. I want us to stand this morning and say, Father, I am availing myself for your work. During this process of separation, here I am. I want to do your will. I want to do your work. So we are going to stand, each and every one of us, to say, my father, as you are separ separating me, here I am. I am availing myself to your work, to do what you want me to do, not what I think. <laughs> not what I think. I want, you know, sometimes we hear, sometimes you say, yo, I'm fasting because, you know, hey, I want to get one, two, three, four, five. The Lord also, he is fa he's making us fast because there is something that he wants to give unto us. Yes. He wants to bless us. Yes. He wants to change our lives. Yes. He wants to increase us. Yes. But also, we must avail ourselves so that we may grow in his kingdom. Amen. So we are going to stand and say, Father, we are availing ourselves. Here we are. We are availing ourselves. We are going to say we are giving ourselves away so that you yourself may use us. Can we stand in the presence of the Lord? Can we all stand in the presence of the Lord and give ourselves to the Lord? Can we pray and say, Father, we are availing ourselves during this time as you did with Barnabas. I pray that I disappear, Lord. So that you appear through me, Jesus. There is nothing you under the sun. As he did Lord, with Barnabas, so that he shall do it with us. Jesus. Lord, I avail myself for your ministry, Jesus. For your kingdom, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I avail myself, my God. I avail myself this morning and say, use me as I'm your vessel, oh God. I'm your vessel, Jesus. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us avail ourselves this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, 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 pray,
Can you give God a hand of praise? Give God a hand of praise. Give God a hand of praise. The Lord is good all the time. We bless him for his presence. Hallelujah. It's time to praise him now. I would like us to shake our heads. I would like us to shake our shoulders. I would like us to shake our hands. Shake our fingers, shake your legs, whatever that the Lord has given you, hallelujah. Whatever that has breath, let it praise the Lord this morning, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When
when, when Mama Palesa started, she said, we are moving from one level of glory to another level of glory. Hallelujah. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Your amen is so low, Bazalwani. Do you believe it? Yes, also I do. I do. I'm not the same. I believe I'm not the same person when I started this prayer and fasting. And I believe I'm not going to end it the same way as I came in. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. We are a chosen generation called forth to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. All for to show His excellence. All I require. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. All for to show is excellent. All I require, all I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Where He says I'm at. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Where He says I'm at. I know who I'm I am. Walking. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. Cause I know who I'm I am. Walking. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. Cause I know who I'm I am. Walking. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. Cause I know who Take I am. Take a look. Take a look at me. I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. You can see his glory. Cause I know who Take I am. Look. Take a look at me. I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. You can see his glory. Cause I know who I am. Take a look at me. I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. You can see his glory. Cause I know who I am. your neighbor and say neighbor neighbor, neighbor, neighbor I'm, moving I'm moving from glory 
From glory to glory, to glory. Neighbor, 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 neighbor. I'm moving, I'm moving. From glory, from glory to glory, to glory. Yes, give God a hand of praise, Jesus. From glory to glory to glory, we are here to change our lives. From glory to glory to glory, you are here to move our lives. From glory to glory to glory, you are here to change our lives. We will never yes. be the same. Glory to glory to glory, you are here to change our lives. convincing me. Amen. Amen. A long time ago, I read a book airing a pilgrim's journey. There were pictures in there for people who go through this journey as Christians. Along the way, you get the pepeng, you are, you, you, you are scratched by things, you know, 
So in a journey like this that we are taking, it is very challenging. You know, Mukreste wawa marwatu, the Bible says that you may fall, but you have to wake up ututu really ruli. For those who are not faithful, ema ututu really ruli. And know that ukonum tom, there's a well of the blood of Jesus whereby the righteous run into it and they get cleansed. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody clap your hands for the Lord.
What a wonderful Sunday. Oh, Can you feel his presence? Can you feel the anointing? Hallelujah. Uh, let us quickly read Joshua chapter 14. No, sorry, chapter 17 from verse 14. Joshua, some super. The Bible said this. Bible then the children of Joseph spoke to Joshua saying, Why have you given us only one lot and one share to inherit since we are a great people? Somebody ah. say we are a great people. Tell your neighbor I'm a great somebody. In as far as the Lord has blessed us until now. So Joshua answered them, if you are a great people, then go up to the forest of the country. Tell your neighbor, go up. And to clear the place for yourself. Tell your neighbor, clear the place for yourself. Said so there in the land of the parasite and the giant. Since the mountain of Ephraim is too confined for you. Yeah. But the children of Joseph said, the mountain is too enough. It is not enough for us. Yeah. And all the Canaanites who dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron. Both those who are Beth Shean and in its town. And those who are in the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spoke to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, and said, You are a great people, and you have great power. Tell your neighbor, I'm having great power. So you shall not have only one lot, but the mountain country shall be yours. Although in this put it, you shall cut it down. Tell your neighbor, you shall cut it down. And its farthest extent shall be yours. For you shall drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots and they are strong. Come Tell your on. neighbor, you are going to fight the Canaanites. Hallelujah. I told you this week, <inaudible> impossibility shall be turned into possibilities. <inaudible> Hallelujah. 
Though your enemies are strong, and they are having iron chariots, you shall drive them out in the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, I will drive them out. Tell your neighbor, I will drive them out. Hallelujah. Listen, the topic of this 21 days fasting. The Bible says, do not think. Do not consider the things of the past. But uh, see, I'm doing something new, said the Lord. Now it will spring up. Do you not perceive it? Now, what, what we are focused on on this 21 days, the Bible says, I'm making a way in the wilderness and I'm making an, an streams in the wasteland. Hallelujah. Listen, where there is a dryness, these 21 days, there will be the streams of the Lord. Hallelujah. You didn't that uh, this word is not your tell your neighbor is not your word. But it's the word of the Lord. And I'm here to tell you it's not only the word of the Lord. But it's the decree of the Lord for you for this year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is the reason why. Because we have received the word of God. Now we are bowing our knees. And we are praying. Now we are going to ask, to ask questions. Why should we fast? Where the Lord himself has decided to do certain things. I'm here to tell you the, the first reason we are fasting and we are praying. The Bible says since the time of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of God suffers violence. It's only violent people who are taking them by force. Hallelujah. Can I see violent people this morning? Can I see violent people in this morning? Hallelujah. The kingdom of God must suffer violence. Hallelujah. But you are not a promise to be injured. You were promised, hallelujah, to take by force. Somebody said by fire by force. Somebody said by fire by force. Listen, people of God. This is not the time to cry, hallelujah. This is not the time to say, I don't understand. If you don't understand, the Lord himself does not understand that you don't understand that the kingdom of God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Understanding or not, hallelujah. It's a time to pray, hallelujah. It's a time to stand. It's a time to take my Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, people of God, when you fast and pray, you don't twist the God. Am I talking to somebody? You are not twisting God. When you fast and pray, you are not uh, trying uh, to put God in the in a corner. What you are doing, you are taking what God has ordained for you. Hallelujah. So the first thing, when you fast, the first thing first is changing your mindset. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Last month we were talking about the spirit of revival. So one of the things that we did say, the spirit of Levitan can change the picture and can give you a a lot of bad news as those who want to spy the land. They say the land they are giants who are as a locust to their sides. Hallelujah. But something I 
happen in the children of Joseph? Oh, can you change your mind? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. They say we are locusts. They say we are grasshoppers. But they stand up and say we are greater people. Hallelujah. Somebody say my mind has changed. Somebody say my mind has changed. So listen, the first thing is changing first your mind. So then you say to yourself, I'm a great of people. Say I'm great. Then I come to speak to you as a judge. And say you are great. I ordain you to stand in the name of Jesus. Then you never go up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. And he said, go up. Go and fast. Go and take possession of what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is not a kingdom of laziness. Hallelujah. You are not the victim of the gospel. But I'm here to tell you you are more than a conqueror. So you must stand and fight for what belongs to you. For what the Lord has ordained for you. Hallelujah. Do not accept the devil to tell you that you are going to get tired. Hallelujah. I may get tired, but my spirit is renewed day by day. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So I don't care about what the devil put in my mind. I will stand, I will pray. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. The land that the Lord ordained for the is a people. There were giants. There were elven chariots. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. And Joshua told them, Joshua no excuse. If there are trees in the land, cut them off. Hallelujah. Then you never cut them off in the name of Jesus. Those three were occupying unnecessary the space. There are a lot of things that are occupying your space. This week that is coming. Oh, say cut off in the name of Jesus. May you stand and start to cut. Say, I cut in the name of Jesus. I cut in the name of Jesus. I cut in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So this is the week of driving out. Giants with their chariot. Come on. Come on. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Tell your neighbor, I refuse to cry. No, by the way, let, let, us, let, let me say it uh, properly. Tell your neighbor, I refuse to cry everywhere. But I will cry in my secret place with the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I forbid you to go and consult because you are stressed. I say I forbid you in the name of Jesus. I forbid you in the name of Jesus. Come on. Yo. Hallelujah. I forbid you in the name of Jesus. It's time to Kalina pray. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. When you are at your praise, if a problem is too much, don't go and need. consult. Hallelujah. Kalina. Keep that money. We'll do something with it. So in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are praying. I want this a week. Your neighbor must complain. Your neighbor must report that someone has become a man. Hallelujah. Because when I'm praying, I'm crying, I'm shouting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I don't know what will happen to you. Your neighbor must call the police. Because when they can hear noise, they don't know what is happening. They say they are assaulting somebody. Now when the police will come, hallelujah, you will open the door. Hallelujah. You know, this is not the time you have put a lot of makeup. Hey, no. I, I don't have my shoes. Hey, I, I don't make a I don't have a makeup. I'm having a shot. When they open, they will see I'm sweating. I'm, I'm, they, they see their tears. They, they see a lot of mommy now. When they ask me, what is happening? Come on. Because I'm so soft in prayer. When I open the door, come on. Shake my Now listen. They will say this. This a person. Maybe. Is a strategy to cover somebody. You let them go in. They are changing if someone is assaulting you. But you are just a dead. So there are two possibilities. Whether they go, or if they stay there, they will find themselves. My spirit will stop them. They shall also speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Listen, this is not a time to say men, they are the same. They may be 10,000. But when I pray, my prayer will produce one will be different from all of them. Let me tell you, all men that you met so far, they were not meant for you. My prayer shall bring by force the one that has been ordained My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't say ladies are like that. The one that my prayer will produce. Tell your neighbor the one that my prayer will produce. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone like Anna. People they knew her as a barren. Hallelujah. A lot of people were having kids. Anna was not having. Now she understood the secret. I must be the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. She started crying. Listen. If a man of God can think that you are men, it means that you have touched the heart of the Lord. Come on. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When you are soaked with the spirit of the Lord, it is an anointed man of God that you think that is alcohol. Oh, you have done a great. Hallelujah. I say you have done a great. You may get the children. Me, I will get somewhere. My prayer won't produce children. My prayer will produce somewhere. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Samuel is what the Lord has ordained for me. Samuel, Samuel is, is what will make a difference. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. The Lord shall make a difference in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Tell your neighbor, I'm here to pray. And that this week, impossibility shall be turned into a possibility. Yes, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is our time. Tell your neighbor this is our time. Tell your neighbor this is our time. If you don't sleep during the night, don't look for sleep tablets. Pray. I say pray. I say pray. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. It's the time to stand in the presence of the Lord. Don't look for sleep because the sleep won't give you anything. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I forbid. I keep a number go on sleep tablet in my life. Come on. I say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Listen. Rest. There is a spiritual principle that you can't change. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of sacrifice. Hallelujah. Come on. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of sacrifice. This is the time of sacrifice for us. Hallelujah. It's the time of sacrifice for us to be saved. The sacrifice of the cross. Hallelujah. Now, Abraham understood something. The Lord said, I give you this land. You know what Abraham was doing? He was uh, building altars to put a sacrifice. Come on. You are having a lot of promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. So your sacrifices is turning your promises into reality. I'm here to tell you your condition is not your conclusion. Hallelujah. Put sacrifice on the altar. Hallelujah. Put the sacrifice. Your sacrifice will change the things. When Daniel was a prey, Daniel Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. If the fasting could change even the setup, not only in the spiritual realm, with its influence in the physical realm. This is the reason why I say your condition is not your condition. Your prayer will change the setup in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are in the family where they say people won't prosper, this is the week they said that is changing in the name of Jesus. We are destroying all limitations in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know when I fast, when I get tired, I'm not complaining. You know what I do? I go and sleep. Begin a little bit false. Going again back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I get the tired. I drink my water. Hallelujah. I won't say, yo. This is me I don't care. Hallelujah. So if I'm tired, I don't complain. I sleep a little bit. I become again strong. I pray, I pray, I pray, and I pray. Come on. Hallelujah. This is a week of changing the setup. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when Daniel was afraid, the angel said, I've kept because of your prayer. This the first day you started to pray. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I've been sent to you. So the prince of Persia, who stood against me, 
Hallelujah. Come on. So is a sacrifice of prayer and fasting. This created a big angelic movement. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. And say, you know when I'm going back, I will remove him and he will be replaced by the prince of Greeks. And you know that in history what happened, hallelujah, that empire was overthrown by the Greek people. So, prior of Daniel, then they set up in the spiritual realm and they change in the physical realm. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you, do not uh, be tired. Tell your neighbor, don't be tired. Put your neighbor and say, don't uh, be tired. You don't know what your prayer is doing. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the sacrifice of prayer did change a lot of things in the spiritual Don't say, I don't see, I don't fix. It does not matter how you feel when you pray. Daniel was not feeling woe. Hallelujah. Daniel was not feeling changed. When you fast, you may be tired. But the change is happening in the spiritual why do you want to feel that you are you are fighting? How we could make our one? You you are praying, but uh, someone is fighting for you. Come on. You may feel, you may not feel, but the fight is happening in the spiritual realm, and the setup is uh, happening, is changing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, I change the setup in the spirit. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. So, I, there are people, they are always in horoscope. You know, when you have been born this month, this is how will be your life. So for today, this is what your horoscope is saying. I don't depend on the horoscope. Somebody say, I changed the setup in the spiritual realm in the realm of Jesus. Say, I changed the setup in the realm of Jesus. Say, I changed the setup in the realm of Jesus. Can you stand as the prophet of your family? Say, I changed the setup of my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I send the setup upon my family. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. I don't know what the spiritual setup of your family is. That the people shall not prosper. People shall not get married. But this day, this week, we change the setup in the name of Jesus. We change it in the name of Jesus. We change it in the name of Jesus. Upon this city, I change the setup in the name of Jesus. I say I change the setup. Come on. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 If you see yourself small, then you shall be small. Tell your neighbor I'm great. Tell your neighbor I'm great. It's the time to change the setup. I say it's the change to send to change the setup. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. There are a lot of declaration that you did before. This week, starting from now, I'm saying, you are praying so that all those declarations, all those confessions must be your possession in the name of Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ezra 
said it. I was ashamed to ask for a scot because I did release the words. I did, somebody said I did release the words. Somebody said I did release the words. So I told them the Lord will protect us. The Lord will be with us because we fear him. Now listen, because I've released that word, I can't ask else. Now the Bible said they fast. Three days and three nights. Hallelujah. How many words did you release in the past? This week I'm here to tell you your confession shall be your possession in the name of Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. I know that you have been too much ashamed. Because you, are, you tell the people a lot of things. Now you are living the contrary of what you told them. But I'm here to tell you this a week. Your confession shall be your possession in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this week. It's not only your prayer will be heard, but also all your confession of the past will be manifested. I thought I was talking to somebody. I thought I was talking to somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor my confession will be my possession. Come on. Hallelujah. This time is Nagoya. not a time of talking too much. Nagoya. Hallelujah. Come on. I want us to give you time. Hallelujah. To go and prepare yourself. Because this we coming week, hallelujah, you are taking giants. You are driving them out, Waba hallelujah. Waba Waba all the problems that have been stubborn. There is a divine appointment at this week. For stubborn problems of our lives. I said there is a divine appointment. For stubborn problems of our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you revive your faith? Where you did the faith. You will, you will try again. Hallelujah. Why you said these things will never change. There is a divine appointment at this week for those kinds of matter. Hallelujah. 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 So when you come, hallelujah, don't say people are not surprised. I want you when you are coming from out there. Hallelujah. Come on. When I'm coming. Come on. Come on. the door. Re be 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 what people are praying about, even though I don't know, but there is a divine appointment for someone problem. So I don't know what are you praying for, but I know what I'm praying for. So when I'm coming there, I don't know. Listen. I don't have time to waste. To ask, what are you praying for? What are you praying for? Hallelujah. We don't have time. Come on. Jesus is the Lord. Oh. You are God. Amen. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Can you such proclaim the word of the Lord upon your life? Paul, Paul may you come. Paul, come. Amen. Yeah. Oh. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Tell Jesus that you are God. Tell Jesus that you are God. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands where you are. Start to declare upon your life that uh, all the stubborn problems of my life, there is a divine mandate. Hallelujah. Start to pray. The reason why I call him, listen, you are going to receive a special anointing because I saw you dealing with certain matters. But your people, they went and consulted. You start losing your mind. Today, that spirit will stop. And I'm here to inform you, every time you will deal with a matter, no matter any kind of evil spirit they will send against you, the Lord will be with you. Start to pray where you are in the name of Jesus. Receive. I command. Hey. Any spirit of Lift up your hands and start to pray. Because the presence of the Lord is here. Thank you, Jesus. You have risen from the
in the morning can eat fruit and veg. So you will have three meals, only fruit and veg. Tell your neighbor only fruit and veg. Is it fine? Then in the evening, you, you will have your fruit and veg only with bread. So we are not going to take some pap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor me I'm standing up. I don't know about you. 